Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to make a game pass for your game and how to make it work so you can actually start getting sales on your games. So in order to make a game pass, you need to actually, first of all, go into your Roblox game place and then you go over to store and click add pass this big button over here. And it takes you to this uh, page where it says create a game pass. You can uh, put an image for your game pass and give it a name. For an example, I'm going to name it super speed. And then you can verify upload. Now you're going to click on this gear icon and click configure. And on this page, you can put your game pass on sale and define a price for the game pass. Uh, you must know that Roblox takes 30% of the game pass revenue. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now we need to head over into Roblox Studio and then you're going to go over to Starter GUI and click Screen GUI and then put a text button. Uh, this is basically the button that the player is going to click so that they can buy the game pass. So we're going to name this Super Speed for the tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. We can resize this and you can customize it from these properties. You can change the color, of course. Now that we have our button done, we're going to actually right click insert object and local script. Now we're going to define a few variables. First variable is going to be the ID of the game pass. So local ID equals. Now we're going over to our game pass again, and you're going to take the URL, uh, this number that you have over here and paste it into your ID. Now we're going to do script.parent.mouse button one down call and connect. So this is a function, uh, just like always. And we're going to do game colon get service marketplace service colon prompt game pass purchase game dot players dot local player comma id now if we click on super speed as you can see it will give you the prompt to buy this item but i already own it so Obviously, it's going to say you already own this item. Okay, so now we need to make a script that checks whenever the player bought the game pass and give him the benefits from the game pass. So we're going to right click server script service and script. I'm going to name this script game pass, but you can name it uh, whatever you want. Now we're going to define another ID variable. So local ID equals and the game pass ID. Now we're going to do game colon get service marketplace service dot prompt game pass purchase finished colon connect open brackets function open brackets plr comma ido comma purchased okay so we're going to check if the player bought the game pass so we're going to do if purchased and id equals equals ido then plr dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals 20. So this is basically where you type in the script that you want to happen when the player has the game pass. So for the super speed game pass, it's going to be player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals 20. So it just gives him a little more speed. Okay, so this fires when the player bought the game pass. Now we're going to make it check if the player already has the game pass so we're going to do game dot players dot player added colon connect open brackets function open brackets plr close brackets enter now in here we're going to type in if game colon get service marketplace service colon user owns game pass async Make sure you type it in exactly like this or it won't work. I'm going to do plr.userid, comma, id. Then, so this checks if the player has the game pass. If he does, we're going to do game.workspace colon wait for child plr.name colon wait for child humanoid. So we're going to do it in uh, inverted commas and we're going to do dot walk speed equals 20. So this gives him the super speed just like here. 
and this makes uh this checks if the player has the game pass already and this is fired if the player bought the game pass in the game if that makes sense okay so now we can actually go ahead and go to the tutorial and play the game and now as you can see once we're in the game the player has the super speed because we already have the game pass so as you can see if we go ahead and check the player's speed you will see that we have given him the 25 walk speed that we defined into the script so as you can see he's walking faster now because he has the super speed game pass so now if you want your game pass to do whatever something else you want it to do going to go back into the game pass script and replace this with something else for example if we want to give him let's say super jump we're going to do instead of walk speed jump we do jump power equals 100 okay so once we change that as you can see if we go to the game player now has super jump as you can see so that is basically the basics of how to make a game pass on roblox so you can get money from your game and how to make them work using scripts and how to sell them by making a button just like this one so i hope you guys enjoyed if you want more tutorials like this make sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace